والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أشهد لا إله إلا الله وأتلا شريك الله وأشهد محمد عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم إن الحمد لله رب العالمين ولا لجعلنا مسلمين جزاكم الله خيرا May Allah reward you and keep you always patient. Alhamdulillah, I have a very special announcement to tell you something very big. The biggest thing that ever happened to me in my life is when I came to Islam. But one of the second biggest things happened, and I have to say this just in case my wife is watching the show, is when I got married. <laughs> just in case. All right, now we got that out of the way. But after that, <laughs> Today is one of the biggest days in the history of this country. In fact, this continent. America has never had a real voice for Islam. You know and I know what would happen if we went to the streets today and we went up to some strange person and we asked them to finish a sentence for us. We said to him, look, we want you to finish a sentence with a single word. Just one word. The sentence is, Islam is... Peace. No, we're not talking about a Muslim. Islam is... Or finish this sentence with a single word. All Muslims are... Terrorists. Because you said it, you know it. This should never be. This should never, ever, ever be. They could say a lot of things, even about Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, during his time, even in Mecca, during the time of the Quraysh. But they never called them terrorists. They called them crazy, majnoon, sahar. Magicians, but they never call them terrorists. This, my dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam, is the most disgraceful condition Muslims have ever fallen to in the history of the planet. In the Arabia, Yahi had Aib. Aib Kabira. This is a big shame on all of the Muslims. Not just you and me, but every single Muslim on this earth is responsible together to show Islam. By what? Unfortunately, some people have tried to hijack our religion. Some people have twisted the meanings of so many things that even you and I, when we listen to them, we say, oh, this is a scholar. He's Sheikh. Who is Sheikh? Yeah. Who is Musheikh? Lynch? Well, Latin people like this will destroy from inside the beauty of Islam. The ulama, the big scholars of the tafsir of Quran, explain to us more than 700, 800 years ago, the dangers of Faraka. And Allah warns us in the Quran clearly, Ya Yuladina Amnu wa Taqala Hakatu Kati wa La Tamutuna Ila Wanta Muslim. Wa Al Tasimu Bihadi Lahi Jemia. Hm? Wa La Tafarraku. Wa? Wa La Tafarraku. Wa La Tafarraku. So if you already know it better than me, why do we let this go on and go on and go on and go on? The meaning for the best. Do we have anybody who does not speak Arabic? Okay. I'm sorry. I'm, we'll just go over it again real quick. The ayah usually is translated. It's one and a half ayahs I read to you. Oh, you who believe have taqwa for Allah. As it is Allah's right that you have this taqwa for him. And don't die except as Muslim. 
don't die as what? Except as Muslim. But then he continues. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala goes on with the, with the conjunction, the conjunctions of the sentence, wa. Hold tight to the rope of Allah. Jami'ah, all of you. Wallah tafarqu. And don't separate. Don't make farafat. Don't make a division in your deen. Don't make any distinction. And it's the same word which Allah uses in Surah Baqarah. At the end of Surah Baqarah, who are the believers? They believe in Allah. Wa malaya katihi wa kutubihi wa rasuli. La nufarq abbeena ahadim min rasuli. La nufarq. Farq is separation, division, distinction. The same word that you're not supposed to do with prophets, you're also not supposed to do with each other. Is Moses better than Abraham? You don't say that. Adam, he's better than Moses. Shut up, what you saying? Don't talk like that. But if I say to you, oh, you know this group over here? Huh? These guys, I think they're like Sufis. These guys are like, you know, these guys over here, I think it's like a bunch of Shiites. I think this guy is like, huh? Whether they are or not, look what I'm doing. If there's a problem, are you solving it or making it worse? Think about it. Are you helping? Are you solving the problem? Or is it getting worse? And this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taken away from us the Izza. This beautiful distinction that we had, this beautiful level in front of the people. We used to be high in front of the people. They looked up to the Muslims so much so that in Spain, my great-great-grandfathers were Muslims in Spain, by the way. Their name was Usted. And today it became Ustaz and then Estes. Look how even my own family changed their name so you can't recognize it. Because they were ashamed to be Muslims. 400 years ago. I'm not blaming you. I'm telling you what the problem is. I'm asking you to be my brother in Islam, and let's work to solve that problem. Let's solve it. Because in Spain, that long ago, do you know what the Europeans used to do? They used to send their children to Spain to be educated in the only universities on earth that really taught practical, usable knowledge. Not astrology, looking at the stars and saying, oh, I hope I have a nice day tomorrow. No. They learned astronomy to know what these stars are doing, where they're going, and what they're all about. Is it a planet? Is it a star? These were the people who originated that concept. al -jibber. The process of using a formula, substituting a letter for a number until you can work out what's the number. We call it today what? Algebra. Algebra. Came from the Muslims. The best reference encyclopedia for medicine for over 500 years was one that came right out of Spain in the Arabia and talking about the Arabia and Spain in July of 1492 when Christopher Columbus came to what was then called the New World the charts that he had on the boat with him. He could not read them. That's why his first mate, named Muhammad, had to read the charts because the charts were written in the Arabic language. Do you know what a chart for a seaman is? A map. A map. How do you have a map of a place nobody ever been to? Can you have a map of some place nobody knows where it is? Huh? No. Nope. Like Disneyland you could. <laughs> How? Because the Muslims had already been here. We know that now. Muslims had a high. Islam. 